yo what is going on guys we're back with another legends video and really quick before we start to those of you who do celebrate it uh merry christmas and you know if you're someone like me who actually doesn't celebrate christmas then i'm wishing you guys a happy holidays man hopefully you guys are safe hopefully you guys enjoy your time with your families and all that and uh yeah have a safe holiday man safe christmas all that stuff and uh yeah pretty much you guys you guys know what you're in here for right uh the ultra that's supposed to be dropping here within the next few days right because i actually don't even know when we're getting it anymore because last year literally today right now like a year ago we were all just using ultra gogeta he was he was broken man we were just all having fun with him uh and yeah well i mean to those of us who pulled it anyway because we all know how um you know ultra sucked to pull but yeah literally a year ago today we had ultra gogeta in the game already right meaning that um this year we were assuming the same thing by today right we were all expecting to be playing with the new ultra uh it should have been dropped by now and all that but they decided to switch it up this year maybe because they decided to um since they switched up the format right we had one banner in november one banner in the beginning of december maybe now they're gonna have to wait a little bit longer before they drop on um, the next ultra right because again chunks of Vegeta did drop like what last week or two weeks ago almost right so uh yeah they probably are gonna have to wait like they want to wait a little bit more before they um drop the third and final unit of the legends festival i mean which is dumb because usually they are smart about how they drop it because they always get it out right before christmas which is when people are able to spend a ton of money because you know they just got money for christmas or you know like it's just it's just the holidays right so everyone has money in their pockets at this time so usually they always drop the last unit of the year right before christmas but i guess they're deciding to switch it up this year but to the main point of the video now there's like we, we're not exactly sure right they created three different routes that would lead to an ultra right to, that would lead to the one and only ultra that's about to drop right and we're gonna go over them right so obviously if you guys didn't check out my uh ultra gogeta video i mean you guys don't really have to because we're gonna re basically review that again here but um i did make a video already assuming that ultra gogeta would be next but i still stand on the fact that whatever ultra is next is ha it has to be green right obviously again i'm not 100 sure but it just has to be green because why ha don't we have a green ultra it's not there's like zero green ultras right we have three purples we have three yellows we have three reds and then wait actually no 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 is that true we have two purples we have three yellows we have three reds and then we have one blue and then we have zero green ultras right so please let us make the next ultra green bro we need our first green summonable ultra or yeah but uh basically the first thing that we've gotten since that i mean actually we got the the news that i'm about to show um i think the day i dropped the video or after i don't know but we have this basically all of this is just hybrid stuff mainly gohan stuff right so uh this this like one page here leads is leading everyone to believe that a ultra fsk gohan which is father son kamehameha if you guys don't know what fsk stands for but this the this particular notice in the news right here just leads everyone to believe that a ultra fsk could be on the way and that gogeta is not here no more by the way if you guys don't know why everyone thinks that gogeta is also possible is because they leaked a or not leaked but they messed up on the kaioken blue goku zankai trailer right uh this guy right here they messed up on his trailer where they changed his green card everyone thought that they you know gave him a new green card since he was getting a zankai and all that maybe they wanted to make it better but it actually wasn't for him it was for another character who obviously no one in the game has that green card but when compared to gogeta going blue in the movie literally the the you know they look the same right um gogeta like has the little sparkles around him and so does cow can blue goku in that video maybe i'll put a screenshot um on the screen right now as i'm talking about it um just to uh you know refresh your memory or if you haven't seen it yet then you get to see what i'm talking about but yeah basically they messed up on his green card and it looked like it could be for a gogeta blue right maybe that was a part of his intro or something him turning blue right maybe they fused and then go blue right away and then yeah that's what led everyone to believe ultra gogeta is coming out i just showed you guys what made everyone to believe a ultra um gohan could be coming out right a father son coming out gohan right they brought back the cell his full power battle against the ssj2 gohan to get his z power uh they brought back legends roll the, the free to play and then another full power but it's just all this hybrid stuff right so uh maybe it's not, not necessarily a fsk but i mean that's probably like the hypest thing you can make an ultra right the go ssj2 gohan that's like a big money 
a big money maker for them not only that but it's very um iconic right it'll definitely sell well for them to make an ultra fsk uh but yeah and then now ultra hit right that's an ultra that it's been it's been under the radar but it's actually starting to make more and more sense and here's why right so firstly this guy zenkai right it had nothing to do with any of the first or, or any of the two parts of the um legends festival right it's not gt and it's not dragon ball super uh future trunks obviously it is dragon ball super but it's the arc right before the future trunks arc right it's universe six verse seven i believe they call it uh the god of destruction champa saga right that's what they call it but uh, yeah, this Goku is not a part of any of the part one or part two, which led every, who does he fight, right? He fights Hit, right? Which is why everyone's thinking it's Ultra Hit. But do keep in mind that nothing that they drop in the uh, first two parts has to do with uh, the Ultra Super Vegito, right? I mean, Goku and the Dragon Fist Goku had nothing to do with Ultra Super Vegito. So basically what I'm saying is that they could drop this and that and then the Ultra for the you know the ultra just has nothing to do with the previous two things even last year we could look at it the super sample goku and vegeta the tag and then the sword of hope trunks they really had nothing to do with gogeta the only thing in common was the movies tag between the blue boys and then the gogeta right other than that there was nothing correlating right but uh yeah here's what here's what really like just it, it, it nails it just this just nails everything right this event right here now let's talk about it right um this was gt themes right during part one obviously with the tag super saiyan 4 and Go uh two super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta right but right before i think it was right before or right after they announced uh rose zankai which was like the first thing that led to us believing that um uh, part two would be future which indeed it was right the galagon vegeta and trunks uh this this event changed to future Right, it, it changed the future enemies, right? It started showing, I believe, uh, Blue Goku and Vegeta and Trunks and all that. Basically, the enemies that you would fight would be, um, uh, what's it, what's it called? Uh, future Trunks Saga enemies, right? Like I said, it was either right before or right after they announced uh, Zenkai's, uh, or Zenkai Rose, right? Which was like, okay, uh, maybe whatever comes out is part two, right? Or maybe whatever comes out for part two is future. This event right here, right? It basically teased the the um the theme for the next part, right? Which obviously again was future. So now we don't have future, we don't have GT anymore. They just randomly changed, that, I believe, two days ago, uh, to I want to call this uh just literally the universe uh six verse seven saga, right? Because you have Vegeta right there. I would have said it was rival universe, but obviously you have Beerus too, who's not rival universe right everybody and um universe seven is not rival universe so this is basically just i'm gonna say universe six versus seven right you had hit you have hit here uh, but, uh one thing i do want to keep it uh, like you know one thing i do want to remind you guys of or you know keep you guys in mind of this blue vegeta has been the enemy uh every single day not necessarily this one but the days before was the purple vegeta from the first year anniversary right the purple blue vegeta right uh, the one that got a zenkai not too long ago but the counterpart to the blue um first year goku right if you guys know what i'm talking about but basically blue vegeta has like the form blue vegeta has been the enemy every single day right so you know i, I, I don't want to i don't want to put this out there but you know what if it's a what if it's a cab or something it actually what would be cool is a kaba and vegeta but i don't think that's ultra worthy regardless right uh you know do they do the galley gun together i don't think they do they in the tournament of power they i think they do some move together right? i'm pretty sure they fall together in the top arc right and they do something but again that's not just just not ultra worthy right maybe maybe a cool tag character but i think i'm all tag character out right i think i speak for a lot of us when i say that right we've had enough tag units for now right we have to, i believe we've got three ll tag units this one year right we had the androids and then uh, the tag force and then vegeta and trunks right so i think we could take a break i think we should go back to transforming units right it's been a while right uh definitely do miss the transformation units but uh yeah basically this event is like the last thing i want to talk about right where they changed it um out of nowhere to just i'm gonna just call this universe six versus seven again they had um kaba the other day i believe they had frost on the first day and then they had kaba and then now they have hit so basically all the opponents from uh universe six versus seven right or yeah the opponents right all the universe six uh participants because if it was top right they would have added khalifa kale and all that stuff but so far we've only seen hit kaba and then um uh what's his name hit wait hit kaba and frost yeah 
those are the only three we've seen so far and those are the only three that well those are the three that participated in the universe six versus seven obviously we had like i think botamos his name is the yellow panda looking guy um he participated but obviously we don't have his card in the game yet but i don't want to make this video too long i just wanted to talk about that right so basically there's three ultras in mine right now which is hit uh fsk and then gogeta blue right all three have a pretty good um you know factual evidence behind it right like all three of them have good backup behind them right uh the event being this event being the reason why i think it would be a you know a hit or a rival universe more specifically universe six versus seven and hit is probably like the you know the best thing they could give us right because the uh, ultra kappa is not really going to sell well uh, ultra frost is garbage right Who, who's really going to care about ultra frost besides like goresh right or loe mains right uh, but yeah i think ultra hit would be like the biggest thing you could give us from that right and then you also have um ultra gogeta blue with the animation leak right that green card from kaioken blue goku looks exactly like gogeta going into his blue form in the dragon ball super movie which leads us to think that ultra gogeta is also possible so out of those three man let me know definitely down below what you guys think is coming let me know what you guys want to come uh me personally i wouldn't mind the fsk because one i wouldn't be mad if i didn't pull him too i could you know i could just go right back to saving for a ultra gogeta blue which we wouldn't see probably probably until the any right i don't think he would be someone they just drop in the middle of nowhere like a ultra blue i mean they ultra blue kyle can can you really i yeah gogeta is way hyper than that form actually so uh yeah i just don't see them like dropping him for a random part two lf right like what what they did with lfg and then the ultra kyle ken so we would probably wait until annie which again would give me more time to save and then the ultra hit again i wouldn't care actually that's probably like the number one thing i would want because you know i kind of do have a good hybrid team now with the nine star beast going on and you know ultra fsk would just complete the team right pan fsk and beast that would just that would just be the stupidest team in the game i don't even want to think about that right please do not make it an fsk now that i'm thinking about it right uh, nobody's ready for that not yet bro hybrids just ate uh they can wait a little longer but uh yeah i don't want to make this video too long i don't even know how long this video is as of now but uh with that being said if you guys do happen to enjoy me guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're new man if you guys are new here you know if you see that red subscribe button man make it great man we're on the road to 700 subs all support is greatly appreciated man and once again hopefully you guys have a merry christmas if you guys do celebrate it and a happy holidays man be safe uh, and uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. I'll see you all in the next one.